here, we're turning the compost pile in order to re-oxygenate it for the sake of the microbes. People think that dirt is just dirt, but those of us that know call it soil and it is alive. Many of my friends, my dear husband, <laughs> most people that know me can't get me to shut up about the topic. It's all great because it's all gonna have a rich complement of microbes in there that partner with plants in, in the garden. I teach a master composter program I listened to Dr. Elaine Ingham of the Soil Food Web about how the biology and the soil partner with plants. So the course I teach, it does take a lot of effort. It takes some know-how, it takes understanding the microbiology to do this correctly. 16 weeks, I thought. How could you talk about compost for 16 weeks? Well, believe me, I learned how much there is to know. Some of my master composters then go out as part of the program and teach composting in local community workshops. Elaine has helped us understand the, uh, what is really needed to, in order to make a good compost. When I saw the master composter class, I said, that's what I want to do. And Elaine turned me on to the troubles of landfill and the problems with it and the magic of compost. And it's made a big difference in our community because we've reduced waste. We've reduced the amount of landfill. We have too much waste going to the landfill. We need to use this resource. Worms do the work that microbes do in a big thermal compost pile. They're a perfect composting system to take care of our food scraps. Elaine has us her email address, a worm lady. <laughs> a lot of people going into that class felt the same way as I did. Don't you just throw it in a pile and that's it? Yeah, no, there's much more. All that uh, wonder got exposed by Elaine. Elaine has enlightened me about um, the microbiology in the soil. She's become my, my microbe sister. Um, she's also teaching me how to make compost teas, which is something that everyone should learn how to make nowadays. Compost tea is a, a very interesting way to apply the microbes that exist in compost out into a landscape or onto agricultural fields. Having it at Lingso and having it available to the general public gave compost tea so much more credibility. Tea is only as good as the compost that you put in it, and Elaine makes excellent compost. Uh, the tea bag is suspended in the tank. We have aerators that go into the tea bag, pushing all the life in the compost out into the water. And Elaine helped us put together our compost tea program here. We use the compost that she makes for our tea brew. And you can see how much of the compost microbes have come out of the pores in the bag and gone into the tea. And there's probably a number of little worms down there that were in my compost saying, help me, get me out of here, put me back in the soil. And they'll be just fine. I will do that next. Mm -hmm.